learn about macros so what are macros so it comes under C preprocessor and what it is used for as the name suggests it is preprocessor so before the compilation there are some preprocessor directives which the compiler follows and they are basically of three types so first is macro substitution next is the file inclusion and the last is compiler control so these are the three options that are available and my macro substitution which is the first one so we will try to understand this so macro substitution as it suggests so we have something like hash define some identifier and then a piece of string so whenever the code identifies this identifier in the code it will replace it by this string so let's see so we have something like say hash define count 20 so now if I have explained some example code if I is less than 20 then do something for I is equal to 1 I is less than 20 I plus plus so while I is less than 20 do something so for all these kind of codes now I can replace this by count so whenever the compiler when it's compiling and it sees the word or the identifier count it will automatically replace it with 20 but the advantage is that we have now much simpler and beautiful clean code with us and one more thing is that if I want to change the value of this count if I change it at just this place I will have my code changed everywhere so next let's look at another example hash define pi as 3.1453 some big decimal number so now when I have to write area is equal to 3.1453 into R into R so I can just replace it with area is equal to pi into R into R so this looks much more cleaner so next is another way to make code simpler is I can say hash define and as ampersand ampersand and hash define equals as equal to equal to so if I have something like if total is equal to 250 and average is equal to 20 so I can now happily replace this code with if total is equals equals 250 and then another keyword 
and average again equals 20 then we are done so this was about the basics of macros